2K Sports, delighted to bring you all the action here from the PGA Tour. We're at the John Deere Classic. Today's coverage is about to begin. Delighted to have your company for this third round action. Rich Beams, my sparring partner in the booth. I'm Luke Elby. Hope you're enjoying all the action. Rich, this next golfer starts their round. What are your expectations of them today? This player just needs to keep going out and just staying as relaxed as they have been and don't take unnecessary chances. Just keep it simple, find some fairways, find some greens, hole a few putts, if you will, and see where it lands at the end of the day. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. <laughs> oh, seems to have got a big piece of that one striped. Second shot here on the first. Well, that didn't look like their best swing there. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Not taking enough club to get it there. Okay, phase one complete. Oh, you've got to make a good putt here. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Hey, that's a chance. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. He's currently tied for first. to tee off at the second par five 551 yards long you want to cut the corner as much as possible to shorten your second shot on this par five should you do that a very straightforward second shot will set up birdies and eagles all day long find the trouble off the tee and you'll find trouble on the rest of the hole don't fool yourself well rich this looks like a familiar spot for this player same spot as yesterday Will they have the same results today? Going with a three wood here. Here's what Bryson DeChambeau managed just a short time ago. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? And here we are with the third shot. Now for the fourth shot. Ooh. Oh, Rich, how good is that? That's incredible. And a chip in, Luke, just what the doctor ordered. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Now that finds him in first place. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. We have a par three on this one. Par three, 183 yards back up the hill. A blind tee shot, but a simple tee shot all in all. Going with the five iron here. Well, I hope you pack the bucket and spade because you're heading to the sand. Sadly, in the sand, but a chance to make up for the error it's going to be challenging to replicate the birdie from yesterday. That was a solid shot. Out of the bunker and onto the surface. It was on a good line. Bogey putt coming up here. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Let's head over to the 10th. Sitting at one over. 
Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. We've arrived at a par four hole. Par four, 448 yards, sweeping dog leg left to right, big tree in the middle, missed that, and you've got a simple second shot into a sliver of a green. Where did that come from? That's not his style. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, they're in the deep rough here, um, but they ended up with a you know, pretty favorable lie considering. We need this one to bounce right. Outstanding approach shot. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Oh, good look at Birdie here. Tracking. Always good to lead the bounce back category. That's a good stat. Now two shots up after that one. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Par four, only 429 yards. This fairway chases away from the players down the hill. So tee shots will run forever, setting up a second shot that is very simple and straightforward. Not a bad line, this one. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Wind's blowing from left to right. They're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. Oh, just missed. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? I'm down here on hole number eight. This is Bryson DeChambeau's next shot. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Time to tee off at the sixth. Par four measures just 361 yards, but only the long players will try and drive this green. The others, lay it up with an iron, wedge it on, hit it close, make your birdie. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. to have opted for the eight iron. That's a pretty handy shot. That's a great shot into birdie range here at the sixth. Just put right on 10 feet, a good one to make. If it's up, it could be in. And that will drop in for birdie. Our current leader is enjoying a two stroke lead. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Par three, 224 yards down the hill. It seemingly plays short, but I can promise you it doesn't. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Left yourself an opportunity. Birdie at the last, this for another. Second shot here on the 14th. Let's return to live play now. Hasn't managed to booty this hole this week. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Well hold. Let's move on. Now leading by one shot. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Par four, just 380 yards, but every single shot plays uphill. Make sure to take plenty of club. Nicely done. Time to head back out to the action at the 11th hole. Getting ready to play their third.
Didn't that look good for a long time? So I might need to sit. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. This putt is about 15 feet to the hole. It's tracking. Ouch, that hurts. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. Par four, 485 yards, the toughest hole on the golf course. Make sure you find the fairway and get your second shot somewhere around the green to give yourself the best chance of making four. No point hanging on to that one. You didn't hit your best there. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Yes, difficult lie. Made a par here yesterday, a little bit more difficult today. Not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. This one's for birdie. Okay, steady now. Three feet to go here to the hole. In she goes. Let's head to the next. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. Par five, 581 yards. Most players will be laying up for their second shots as a large pond on the right-hand side of the green will collect your golf ball if you hit a wayward one going forward in two. That should find the fairway. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, guys, I'm on the 17th hole. This is Matt Kuchar's next shot. Second shot here at the 10th. The interesting choice of the driver here. Well, that's a pretty good play there, Rich. Right up near the surface. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, I thought that one was going in. This part of about seven feet to the hole. Oh, what a stroke. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hole. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. This hole here is a par four. Par four, 428 yard, tree line hole, difficult driving hole all the way around, but should you find the fairway, the second shot on a little plateau just above the fairway is very basic. That's a good looking shot there. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Straight down wind, tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Good shot there. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. This one has eyes for the hole. Ooh. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. And in it goes for the par. Leading by a couple after that hole.
Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Par three, plays 208 yards from the back. And saying that, this is a good birdie opportunity as the green is massive in size. That's the common mistake, hitting it out to the left. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. A lovely shot into a few feet. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, guys, I'm down on the 13th hole. This is Justin Thomas prepping his next shot. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Par four, back up the hill, 418 yards, the widest fairway on the golf course. Avoid all those bunkers. Second shot up the hill to a narrow green that slopes off on both sides. Playing from 110 yards out. Wind back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Let's have one more look at that shot. John, what's going on out there? Well, I've got Bryson DeChambeau uh, over here on the 16th hole. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. And the player steps up to this short par four. Par four, 357 yards. Almost every player in the field will be giving it a whirl. Knock it on, and you could be rewarded with an eagle two. Time to step into the bunker now. Yeah, they parted this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult but still doable. Not your best effort, still a mid-range putt coming up. This putt coming up is for birdie. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top 10 all day long because of it. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Second shot here on the 15th. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Judging it beautifully. And there it is. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Par three only plays 153, but a tricky little green to say the least. Don't let the beauty of the river to your left swallow you in. This is a tough but fun little par three. Opting for the nine iron.
Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Oh, the wind wreaks havoc with another golf ball. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. We'll take a tap in any day for par. He's currently sitting in first place. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. Players looking for a fast finish on the par five, 550 yards. Second shot does play up the hill, but there's plenty of room to miss your second shot around this green. Must make birdie for the players in the field. Well, that's heading for the fairway. How about this effort from JT just a little while ago? This is his third. Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Opting for the three wood. That one's headed left. Getting ready to play their third. How close was that to going down? He hasn't managed to birdie this hole this tournament. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Leading by three strokes now. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Hard to describe the difficulty of this tee shot unless you've actually been here. Par four, 463 yards. Missed the fairway bunker down the right-hand side. And you've got a clear shot to a very narrow green surrounded by water on the left-hand side. Oh, the old fried egg. What an awful lie that is. Any chance of getting out of this one? No, I'm not seeing a whole lot of ball in the sand here, guys. Let's see how they deal with this one. There's water over there. And here we are with their four. Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. Going with the 9-9, I think. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Ooh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. Good stroke. And with that, this round comes to a close. Well, this was lovely play, and it just confirms it after grabbing the 54-hole lead. Good playing, Rich. And this player cannot afford to not make birdies tomorrow. They're going to have to continue the good play in order to keep the chasing pack at bay. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.